It's Janice and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a back to school DIY and I know some of you have already been in school for about a month now but it is never too late to look cute for school. And so I've come up with these two designs. The first one is um, this pineapple print. It has a very summery vibe to it. Um, it has this turquoise zipper and the inside has this really awesome liner and it's perfect for those of you who are still in denial that summer is over even though it's October but it's okay because you have this. And the second design is sort of like a minimalist design. It's um, white with a copper metallic accenting and the inside is a geometric print and it actually glows in the dark. So in case you ever need to find your pencils in the dark, this is the pencil case for you. And so without further ado, let's get started. So, to start off, you're going to take a pair of scissors and just cut off the frayed ends of the zipper so that you have cleaner sides. Next, place the zipper onto the white fabric. Take a pen and mark out the two ends of the zipper onto the fabric. Flip over the fabric and adjust the fold until you have your desired pencil case size. Using the same process, mark out the ends of the zipper with a pen onto the other side. Using a ruler, draw lines to connect all four points to form a rectangle. Taking your scissors again, cut out the rectangle and this will be the base size and shape of your pencil case. The size of the pencil case may vary depending on the size of your zipper. So now that you have your base pencil case size, you're going to need to cut out two more pieces of fabric. One for the liner and one for the side tab. To dry the pineapples, you're going to need a small paintbrush and some yellow acrylic paint. Taking a small paintbrush, draw small ovals onto the fabric. The technique that I used for this tutorial was starting from the center and slowly drawing outwards until I had an oval that I was satisfied with. I drew mine in a staggered alternating kind of pattern. Next, I mixed my yellow paint with some dark gold paint until I had this yellow brown color. Using a paintbrush again, I blended the yellow brown paint onto one side of the ovals and this sort of created a shadow effect on the pineapples which made them pop out a little bit more. To make the pineapple leaves, I used some light green acrylic paint. Starting from the top of the yellow pineapple as your base, you're going to draw outwards with your brush in a flicking motion. This technique makes the leaves look a little more natural and organic. Using the same method as before, I took some dark green paint and drew the leaf shadows. This adds a little more dimension to your pineapple. To finish off the pineapple, taking some gold paint, you're going to draw the ridges of the pineapple. If you don't have any gold paint, any shade of light brown will do. Draw small downward V's onto the pineapple. You don't need to draw all of them. Once you're done, you end up with a really cute and easy pineapple design. For my liner, I used some yellow paint and just drew some straight lines along the entire fabric. I then drew dashed lines between the straight lines to come up with this really cute design. The liner design is entirely up to you. You can draw whatever your heart desires. Once the paint dries, take your liner and place it on top of your base with the painted part on the opposite sides. Taking a glue gun, glue along the halfway line of the base. Position the liner so that the two folded halfway lines line up. Press with your fingers to secure the glue. Using the same method, draw a line of glue along the rest of the base so that you secure the liner edges to the base of the pencil case. Do the same for the other side. Glue and fold over the base so that the edges are on the inside. Make sure that you do this for both sides. Next, place a line of glue along the side of the zipper. Carefully place the fabric onto the glue to secure it to the zipper. Now just repeat the step to the other side. And using your fingers again, pat down the glue to make sure that it's set. Next, place some glue on the ends of the zipper. Just using your finger again, fold the edges inwards. I recommend folding the edges downwards so that you can zip the zipper the entire way. Do the same process for all four sides. Taking your glue gun again, glue and fold over the side edges of the pencil case. Make sure that you do this for both sides. Taking the small piece of fabric, draw a line of glue and fold over the edge to the middle. Do the same to the other side so that you folded the tab in three. You can make this tab any size you want. 
Now that you have your tab, glue it to the inside of your pencil case. The tab is mostly for decoration and you don't really have to do this part, but I think it adds a really nice touch to your pencil case. To finish up the pencil case, flip it outwards again and glue along the side edges. You can use your fingers to pat it down and secure the glue. Do the same for the other side. And you're done! So now you have a really awesome pineapple case that you can throw all your pencils in and move from class to class. I think that they turned out really cute and they're really customizable to suit your own style. Now for the minimalist pencil case, I couldn't really find a copper zipper at the store, so I actually bought some copper spray paint for it instead, and I sprayed the small tab part too so that I have a matching piece. I also really like this geometric print that I found at this local thrift store too. Using the same steps as you did for the pineapple pencil case, you'll be able to make this minimalist pencil case too. I'm really happy with the end result and how easy it was to make. So these pencil cases are really customizable and they turn out really cute and I hope you enjoy making them too. this video. I had a lot of fun making these. They turned out really cute and they can also be really good gifts that you can give to people. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you push the like button. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. And if you end up do making these, these pencil cases, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can find it and see it and like it and follow you and stalk you and all the good stuff. And let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and what kind of videos you'd like to see next. So I think that's it. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.